Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was about to make my meal plan and grocery list for next week and I thought it'd be cool to show you guys what was in my pantry, what I keep on hand, and what I think are essentials. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so for this first shelf, it's actually the second shelf of the pantry, I have my oats here. So I have like regular rolled oats and then I also keep instant oats on hand. Those are great to take for work when I eat breakfast at work. Definitely an essential for me. And then on this side of the oats, I have teas. So this basket, this box, they're all full of teas. I'm a tea drinker. I am not a coffee drinker. Most of it's herbal teas or caffeine free. My favorite for caffeine is probably the mango black tea from Trader Joe's. I also love this immunity and this is probably my favorite tea ever. And I drink it all year round even though it's a white Christmas tea. It's delicious and really good if you have tummy troubles because it has ginger and spearmint in it. On the next shelf, I have most of my canned goods. So I always try to be stocked up on things like beans and tomatoes, things like that because they're super easy to throw into things. So I have some tomato paste. I try to buy that when it's on sale. I have some vegetarian refried beans, red curry paste. I think that's a tomato soup. And then just some random things back here. I think there's like artichoke hearts and I think those little like baby corn that you can put in stir fries and things like that. And then down below this, I'm actually not fully stocked. I usually have a lot more than this, but this is all of my beans. So I have pinto beans, garbanzo beans, kidney beans, and black beans. Then over here I have I think four cans of jackfruit, which I'm going to be taste testing on my channel here soon. I have a vegetable soup, some tomato soup, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes. I normally have like six cans of these, but I'm a little low. And then I have some salsas. This is my favorite, the Trader Joe's peach salsa. I also have, I haven't tried this yet. It's the tomato list salsa. That looks really good. I also have some soyaki sauce from Trader Joe's. Have another one in the refrigerator. And then I have some tortillas for some um, jackfruit tacos that I'm actually gonna try. All right, moving down. Sorry, the lighting might be, I think it's getting worse as we go down, but it's a little bit more organized. I have these two bins. This first one in the back, I have some rice. So I have two bags of sushi rice. That orange bag is brown rice. And then I have some pasta. So I have the black bean pasta, two bags of that, and the red lentil pasta from Trader Joe's. I actually haven't, oh, sorry, that's kind of loud. <laughs> I actually haven't tried these yet, but um, pasta is a good thing to keep on hand. Um, pasta and some sauce, and you have a meal if you're in a pinch. In this next basket, I have potatoes. So I have two bags of russet potatoes. I have some yellow potatoes and then a bag of nutritional yeast. I have another one in the refrigerator. This is an essential. All right, moving on down over here, I have a bunch of broth. So I'm a big fan of the Better Than Bouillon, but when vegetable broth like this in the carton is on sale, and a good deal I go ahead and stock up because they're just they're good to have on hand and they're easy to saute veggies in or just to throw into a soup or anything you need to thin out so I have some low sodium vegetable broth and then back behind those I think it's gonna be way too dark but I have some oh there you go butternut squash soup from Trader Joe's I have two of those I have some miso broth and more veggie broth back behind it. 
Another thing I love having on hand is soup. So these are easy to throw into your lunchbox and take to work and it keeps you from being in that position where you're like I don't have any food and you're running out and grabbing something little unhealthy and I love the Dr. McDougal soups. I find mine at Albertsons. So I have two of the lentil. I really like the lentil. I have two of the split pea ones which I haven't tried yet and more veggie broth behind there. Then I have two boxes of the brown rice noodles. Back behind that I have more pastas. These are also gluten free. So I have this red lentil pasta and then this ancient harvest gluten free pasta. Let's see, corn and quinoa. And then I have some vegan mac and cheese from Annie's. I bought these a couple months ago and haven't made them yet. And then I think I have some barley behind that. Love throwing barley into soups. And in this little basket, I have beans and I think some seeds. So I have some dried pinto beans, pinto beans, some dried black beans. This is gonna fall. This is raw cashews, which are really good for baking or making sauces, not baking. I don't know where that came from. For making sauces or dressings. And then I have some pumpkin seeds. All right, moving down to the next shelf. Here I have what was a five pound bag of red lentils. I actually just ordered more. I have a big thing of rice. Once my rice is opened, I put it in the refrigerator to prevent those little buggies. So I have a ton of rice in the refrigerator as well. And then this whole side is pretty much baking. So I have some pineapple juice, egg replacer, this is really good for baking, especially like cookies and things. I had just ordered this date syrup on Amazon. I haven't tried it yet, but a lot of the forks over knives recipes call for date syrup. So I went ahead and ordered some. There's some Spanish peanuts. Those are good for baking. That's just a thing of brown sugar. And then here, this is a mix. So there is some non-vegan items in this baking basket, but I have coconut sugar, cocoa powder, there's some oat flour, and some vegan chocolate chips. Down here on the very bottom of the pantry, these are all canned goods that my grandmother did from things that my grandpa grew in his garden. So it's very special. She's actually no longer with us, but we have some of her homemade spaghetti sauce. These are beets, a ton of carrots, which are amazing to throw into soups because they are already soft. And then my favorite of hers are green beans. And a few things I do keep in the refrigerator that some people might keep in their pantry. Chia seed, flax seed, and a big thing of unsweetened applesauce that is perfect for baking. Works amazing as a oil replacement. Another thing, of course, is gonna be seasonings and spices. So this is pretty much where I pull from. And just a couple of favorites. The Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute. I love this, it is salt free, turmeric, everything but the bagel of course. Um, I use Italian seasoning quite a bit, onion powder, rosemary, thyme, yep. All right, and then down in this cabinet, it's a little bit of a hot mess. We have a ton of stuff down here, but a few of the things I keep, oh, there's more peach salsa, but Sriracha, of course, red pepper flakes, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's. I have some like sweet chili sauce, and let's see, poison sauce, that's good for stir fries and things like that. Dijon mustard, really good for dressings. 
tahini, also good for dressings. And I think that's about it. I do have some extra seasoning up there as well. She's totally bored with this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some good ideas on what to maybe stock up in your pantry. And let me know down below what your essentials are that you have to have on hand or that's just an easy ingredient to grab and go. Thanks again. Give it a thumbs up if y'all don't mind and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.